What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode we made our escape, or rather, started it. And we had a bit of a, a 3D platforming woe. And now we're going to find our way to the Neurotoxin. Hopefully shut that down so that, you know, we don't upset GLaDOS and the whole facility dies. This is the Neurotoxin Generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to <laughs> nice cleverness. There's some sort of... Yeah, no kidding. Up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. All right, I guess I guess that's our next goal. Going up. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But, uh, really for them. <laughs> that's really funny. Got ourselves a laser there. What is going on with that? Huh. Is it to test locked. the durability or something? No what are you doing? We don't know what that button. Was we leave out a sentence? There's no way to hack it or anything like that. It's so funny. The neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry. All right, not a problem for me. Not for Wheatley. Okay. Here we go. You're gonna make me the turn around. Part of any hack is the figuring out how to start things. That's always tricky. <laughs> But I'll let the games begin. All right, what have we got? The computer. Not a surprise to be expected. To be honest. <laughs> oh my God, Wheatley! <laughs> Just get to it already. A box part here. Probably got some electronics in there. Oh my lord. A monitor. Yes, that will be important. I imagine. I'll keep my eye on that. Something useful comes up, important words like password. <laughs> when you don't know what you're doing, so you're stalling by talking through everything in as much detail as possible. But noted. Anyone says to me, is there a flat bit? Yes, there it is. Spinning thing. The floor is important, holding everything up. Bentley! Or Bentley, wow. I was just watching a Sly Cooper uh, <laughs> speedrun, that's why. In case of implosion, look directly at implosion. Pens might need those. Don't see any of those. That aren't here. We could be here all night. You know, pens, for instance. So let's stick with things we can see. Oh. Neurotoxin inspector. Need to shut this place down for a moment. Here's the Shut yourself down. I am totally legit. For the Board of <laughs> International Neurotoxic uh, Observers from the United Arab Emirates. Hello. Nothing. You've got to be kidding me, Wheatley. This one he is good. I'm going to need to break out the expert level hacking. Oh, are you? You asked for it. <laughs> While the computer's distracted, get in there. We'll be here long. That lovely bird like that, I'll be off. Once in a lifetime opportunity, this to see a lovely bird with lovely plumage. Be ashamed to miss it, wouldn't it? Just for the old neurotoxin. Where the bird go? We'll still be here tomorrow. Whereas that bird is gone. It's gonna be gone any minute. It's already got one talent off the branch. It's gonna be gone. Oh, it's bird wings. It's Wheatley, what are you talking about? Wheatley, what are you talking about? Is he actually doing something? Has he has he stopped talking? Wheatley, hello, doing all right? You done? You didn't open it. I was I was somewhat optimistic that they'd actually that he'd actually break through, but I guess not. I imagine that we're gonna have to use that laser. I probably should have been doing this instead of actually listening to Wheatley. Granted, it was plenty entertaining to listen to. Now the question is, how do we get inside? Where can I place the portal? Not there. Not through the glass. There's quite a bit going on up here. There are ah, I see. That's how it's got to work. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. 
So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Hold on, control <laughs> neurotoxic levels up to 50%. No, it's dang. Sorry, my mistake is dang. <laughs> it's all perspective, up or down. It's still going down. It's still going to keep it up. Almost there. Hold on. Huh? Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. Dangerously unlethal levels? <laughs> Yikes. Um. Um. Hello? Ha, the tube's broken! We can ride it straight to her! I can't hold on! Come on! Come on, we have to go! Yeah. Oh my! Just get pulled right in there. <laughs> that was... I'm glad I listened to all of Wheatley's dialogue. I'm sad that I actually expected him to do something useful. <laughs> I knew I had to do something with the laser. I just needed to figure out what. And I actually thought maybe, maybe Wheatley would be we useful. Right I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told it's me like it a roller fun coaster. Not fun at all. And I, I, I believed him. I thought I was a fool to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Why another time? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really cool, though. Little ride throughout the entirety of the factory. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on her sealed face. Sealed off no years ago. Huh. No turret. She'll never know what hit her. Except <laughs> for when we literally run right into her, presumably. I, I, I might not have thought this next part would be. Ah! Well, uh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you! No, Wheatley, don't abandon us! <laughs> That's pretty funny. He got caught up in all the other material going through. Looks like we're facing off with GLaDOS alone then. Me a, a sweet reunion of sorts. Alright. This looks oddly familiar. What's going on over here? Oh, it's that. This is, um, that's GLaDOS's chamber, right? Yeah, that's where we walked across. Dang, this music, too. That is ominous. Whoa. Now I'm curious. Wait, what? Shouldn't that be looking down into, like, a pit or something? I'm curious. Huh. I feel like this is either an Easter egg or a sequence break of some sort. And I'm curious as what the other aspect or the or the end of the hallway had in store. GLaDOS, emergency shutdown in cake dispensary. Keep unlocked. I well, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. <laughs> That's really that funny, actually. A much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. Ah, beautiful. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. <laughs> I need a portal! Well, is there anywhere I can shoot a portal to? Is that a toilet? Well, huh. it was nice catching up. No, did we just get, like, repacked into a relaxation unit or something? Oh my. <laughs> well... No! Oh wait, this is great. The defective turrets. Free me, defective turrets! Free me! I believe in you! <laughs> well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. How lovely. Oh, here comes Wheatley. <laughs> Wheatley's gonna roll right on in. I hate you so much. <laughs> That's hilarious. Gladys is like, I hate you so much. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, 
That's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Charge. Substitute core accepted. Substitute. Didn't want to mess around with that. Ready to start the procedure. Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? <laughs> no. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 no. <laughs> stalemate detected. This is hilarious. No. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Where am I pressing the button? Yes. Where's the button? Don't press the button. Not so fast. No. You need to be a trained stalemate associate. To I'm sure you do. You're unqualified. <laughs> I knew it's probably gonna be all of them. It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that—a finger. All right, with which to press that. A finger. Impersonating a stalemate associate. Seriously? I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Glados. It's a list that I am making because you're still doing things right now, even though I'm telling you to stop. Stop, by the way. Stop, by the way. We made it fast enough. Woo! Stalemate resolved. I find it hilarious that they're just having like a yes, no, yes, no, yes, no argument. But at the same time, I don't want Wheelie to go. I don't want Wheelie to become the Glados. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me. That is like, I'll make sure it hurts. You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is gonna hurt, isn't it? Can Can Wheatley feel pain? Whoa. No, 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 no. This is so dark. This is so like gruesome. Whoa! <laughs> I'm in control of the whole facility now. Whoa! Would you look at this? Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Don't tell me you go corrupt as well, Wheatley. Bloody massive, aren't I? Nope, you absolutely are. The only thing is, how are you going to escape now? I can barely see you. Very tiny and insignificant. Wait, I've just thought of something. How am I going to get in? You know, being bloody massive and everything. Exactly. Wait, I know. You get into the lift, okay? Then I'll eject myself out of my new body into the lift. Let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. But, wow, this is cool. I hope Wheatley can come with us. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. That's hilarious. Wheatley, thank you. There's no way that's the end. There's no way. Wheatley, no. Bad Wheatley. Wheatley. Bad Wheatley. Oh no, the light's changing. Tiny little Wheatley did this. Wheatley? You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Uh oh. That's what the two of you think, is it? Two of us? Maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? Two of us? No, wait, no, hold on a second. Don't throw me in that. Don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. Huh? You are selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. Oh man. Wheatley, no! Ah. You've been so lovely throughout the entire playthrough! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, wh uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. To slow me down. Once, they even attached an intelligence dampening sphere on me. <laughs> this is hilarious. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no. <laughs> For what it's worth, if I had to live with Wheatley's voice in my head every day, that would be um, entertaining for a bit, but... You were designed to be a moron. That would get annoying quite a bit. Wait, why are you hitting us? Why are you talking to me? Do 
I miss GLaDOS. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that. But no, Wheatley, why you gotta be like that? Wheatley, I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I knew it. I knew it as soon as GLaDOS was giving, you know, gonna be toppled so easily. Chapter 6, The Fall. <laughs> Quite literally and figuratively. <laughs> oh my god, GLaDOS. This is hilarious. Oh man. Working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. <laughs> I just put him in charge of the entire facility. Wonderful. Good, that's still working. <laughs> this low clap. Oh my god. Actually bottomless. Do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. I'm down. It seems GLaDOS is actually intelligent and maybe interested in working together with us for the time being. So, I guess team up with whatever presents itself. We're aiming for a common goal. But dang, so apparently we just put the moronic Wheatley in charge of the entire facility. He's upset at us. And, um, yeah, it's not, not looking so hot. Is that a bird? A living thing? We still have our portal gun. Whoa. I just zoomed? I had no idea I could zoom. That's pretty cool. Where's, uh, GLaDOS? GLaDOS! GLaDOS! Where are you at? Where are you at? Probably not over here. I'm sure that as I get closer, I'll start to hear GLaDOS talking to me or something. Alright, well, I guess... Oh, I guess we can't go around that way. We can head over here. Clearly, this is the open path where we're supposed to go. Dang, we're gonna have a showdown with Wheatley now, of all people. Or personality constructs, for that matter. Woo! 3D platforming. As usual. Good old portal stuff. Now where? Up here? Yes. I'd say we're doing pretty well, all things considered. Is there a secret down here? No. Okay. It's a little, a little disappointing, but it's fine enough. Now, what? Didn't I just... Where to? Up there? No? This zoom function might actually be really nice. Let's try that. I need, I need a computer telling me I'm doing the right thing. I need the computer telling me I'm going the right direction. Do I walk along this path now? It looks it looks like a good idea. We'll we'll go with it. That works. Hopefully I'm not just backtracking. Up here maybe. Keep out. Do not enter. That's right. He had mentioned Wheatley that so much of the facility had been sealed off, right? Condemned testing area. Keep out condemned this entrenchment shaft may contain unsafe quantities of cosmic ray spallation elements. Oh, I know what they're referring to with cosmic rays, but I don't recall the word spallation. Regardless, can we shoot our handy dandy portal gun through there? Do you, do you want me to zoom? I don't see any... Is this portal-able? 
Is that a word? No. Doesn't look like it. But I'm pretty sure that's the intent. Let's try looking up. Is that portalable? <laughs> oh, up here. Interesting. Wow, they're really having me venture high up there. Really look around. Notice these areas in the uh, environment. So we can go over there. All right. We can probably go down there. Yeah. Looks like it. Warning. Okay, same old warning. Is that where we came from? That's where we came from. Is there anything of interest behind here? Doesn't seem so. I wouldn't be surprised if there are Easter eggs lying around that I'm just not aware of. But that's alright. You guys will no doubt fill me in. Do not enter. Keep out. Keep out. I know what we're going to do, guys. I know what we're going to do. Charge forward. And the music changed. You know we're moving to a new area. Or to a new section of the story. Or... I don't know. Clearly the game is intending to change the mood and the pace, potentially. I pulled the lever. What do? Oh, lights. Lots of them. Wow, it, what's so funny is like compared to, you know, the rest of the facility, this is so low tech, right? Okay, at least I can fire portals on these walls. Ah, one of these puzzles. Let's see here. We can do that. Whoa! These, um... Oh, what are these called again? I forget what they're called, but... Are they, like... Copper or something? I don't know. I remember them from Steins Gate. And what is going on over here? It's Is the vault or whatever it is opening? Looks like it. It's looking pretty intimidating, if I might say so myself. Can we see in it at all? Oh, no. Not really. But we opened the door. Is this... Some chairs? Someone was probably keeping watch outside of here. Dang, this is, this is a big <laughs> door. Ooh, interesting. So they're changing up the... The screens. I didn't even realize they were changing them up depending on where we we're actually getting the loading screens. That's pretty cool. All right. Keep going this way. Danger. Is that... Oh, man. Clearly, they weren't very mindful of where they were dumping their waste. Do not lean on railing or die, it seems. In this acidic, corrosive water. I'll do my best, guys. Apparently, the metal structures, though, are stable enough. Music's getting more epic, more high paced, more high strung. 1952. That was a long time ago. Aperture Science. Yeah, this is clearly the, the remains of what used to be the company, right? Or the research lab, or whatever it may be. Can I fire a portal up there? I cannot. I guess we'll just keep heading over here to the lit up door. Presumably where we're supposed to go. Um, underground train to test shafts. Well, maybe that's not where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to keep going this way? I don't think so. But we can try? This is where I started, right? Yeah, I figured I was supposed to come up here and, and see from there, but... Doesn't look to be the case. 
It's alright. I'm down to explore. That's not opening. Let me try some of the others. Oh, can we go in here? Yes, no. There's a portal. Where there's a portal, there's a way. There's the lever. What is this equipment? Oh, I am, I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. <laughs> to science that's that's pretty funny okay so I'm feeling like I gotta get up there that is connected to up here can I portal this I cannot I cannot how about up there no that is surprising but we'll live with it that's a portalable service or surface. I guess we'll want to potentially leave a portal there. I mean, there are clearly a lot of. Oh, I can just do on the wall, and then maybe all the way up there. Yeah, let's give that a go. Drop down onto that catwalk. All right, and then from here probably go out here and get a bit of a better perspective on things or I can just uh, head over here can I walk down this I cannot do I jump I don't think that's the intended route we will see though is there a portal level area over there that's under right yeah oh no thank you Goodness, there's no fall damage. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like I can portal to any of those areas. Oh, man. You can, like, hear the legs crunching. My bad. Now, what if I just, like, fall off? Hmm. Is there a way I can get some momentum going, or...? That's not gonna be enough. Surprisingly close, though. Surprisingly close. I think what I'm going to want to do... Is... Let's see here. Let's line up a little bit. This looks about right. About here. And we'll change the portal to, like, right there. And then we can fall into it. Over here. <laughs> so let's give this a go. I feel like I'm going to overshoot it, but... Oh well. Oh, I overshot it. <laughs> I overshot it, alright. However, that just means that... Well, actually, my... That point was fixed. So, maybe then I should lower this output point, per se. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I'll need to lower it. Where is it right now? So, there are a bunch of rows of bricks, right? It's about the second and third. I'll want to lower it a couple from there. So, with that in mind, let's hop on back up. That was very disorienting. But we're alive! So, that's a small victory. Save a bit lower. That's a quite a bit lower, but we also overshot it by quite a bit, so... Let's see if this works. And... Oof! We live in! Alright! Can I... Please excuse the inconvenience, this elevator is out of service. No, don't be telling me that! Come on! Can I fire a portal through, though? If I can, then it's, then it's all good. 
but it does not seem to be the case. Really? Darn. I guess I can go over this way, but I don't see a lot of value in doing so, at least immediately. I don't think I can, like, fire a portal there or anything. Hmm. Clearly, this puzzle is giving me a little bit of difficulty, and clearly it's an intended puzzle. The question is, how do? I guess I could try to, like, fly myself through this aperture sign over here via this ramp. But that's all I can think of, really. Is there something up there I can portal to? I'm not seeing it. Maybe, maybe I don't have to get past here. I, I don't think that this is a very likely solution either, though. We can try it, though. We might as well at this point, right? But then what's the point of coming here? I mean, does there have to be a point to everything, right? <laughs> let's get real philosophical. Alright, let's, um... Let's do this. We'll go up there again, and we'll at least try the... Whoa. Where am I? What orientation is this? Okay. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, if I come all the way out here, I should be able to fire a blue portal just like that. And give it a go. I'm going to go a little bit forward that way. Oh, that was what it was. Wow. I guess that works. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond <laughs> to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Repulsion gel. To be injected with praying mantis DNA. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news <laughs> is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man. So local entrepreneur buys salt mine. That's obviously where this is right now top 100 applied science companies all these trophies dang national potato board for the promotion of potato science <laughs> love it i love it i wonder if the potato was intentionally chosen because so many people like complain or joke about their uh, technology being potatoes whoa this music it's way too dramatic for a simple i don't know elevator control do i want to go down or up though please wait for attending to begin lift Oh, wow, this is really old. I'm curious. Okay, no, that's maybe just to bring it down. Up we go. This will be a long stair climb. It's really cool to see the roots, though, of Aperture, especially in comparison to, you know, what we've seen it become today. Clearly, they pushed for more and more automation and more and more science, and it got out of their hands. Zoom. Am I supposed to be zooming in on here? Pump station alpha. Okay. What is in those? You know? Let's see if we can find a uh, portable service surface. Vitrified. What does this note to say? Experiment discontinued. Interesting. It's usually not a good sign. 
Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, <laughs> we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. Science at the wall. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. <laughs> if you oh, man. the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> that's hilarious. Man, I love the humor of this game. Alright, so now the question is, where, where do we go? I figured we would be going through one of these doors. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because just a heads up, we're gonna have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. <laughs> so all that means is it's working. Wow. Um. All right. Well. What is this? What was up with this door? So where where do I go from here? I obviously need to look out here. Presumably over here where all the lights are. But even then. I feel like I gotta make my way over there. I feel like I might have to launch myself with that. But the question is, where am I gonna get the momentum to do so? I don't see myself falling onto a an orange portal anytime soon. Right? Like from up here, where am I getting the momentum? I feel like I need to fall and find a portal. It's not going to be on there. Hmm. Is that portalable? Is that portalable? Where do I fire the portal? Over here? Isn't that where I came from? Apologies for those of you that are getting impatient, which is an inevitability. Alright, I think I have an idea then. It looks like that is set up for us to fall down. We just need to make sure that stays there. Or rather, can we even get that up there? I guess what I can do is do this so that I'm up here and this portal is maintained and then from here I can fire perfect and now I can no <laughs> fall my way up let's try this again this is probably not the most intended way to go about it, but hey, this is uh, this is my playthrough of Portal 2, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the ride. And now, can I call the lift down? Make my life a little bit easier. Any day now. Okay, and then up we go. And then I need to fall down this lift shaft. And that should spring me to that room. Or fling me to that room. Hopefully it works. I think this is how it's been designed. So my, my I don't know, game design intuition is telling me that it should be all right. It looked like there was one area we could drop in down here. Oh, maybe not. Here it was. All right, here we go, guys. Wow, we are flying. Woo! Stuck the landing. Tens all, over, all across the board.
So now we are in Project Room Alpha. What's going on in Project Room Alpha? Know your allergens, plastics, pollen, animal dander, and antimatter. <laughs> antimatter? That ain't, that ain't no allergen. You'll just get obliterated as soon as you interact with that. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes. No matter how good they smell, know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. It's funny. Pump station alpha. Gel pressure control. This is the repulsion gel. Well, let's, uh... Let's give this lever a go. I feel like this is a if we mess up area. So we did something. We did a thing, guys. Woo! Go us. Can I actually go through here? Probably not. Instead, I need to use my sick portal skills. To ascend. Alright, and then from up here... We've made it all the way up here, so that's progress, I guess. And now what? We have to make our way over there, don't we? Probably walk along this, can't I? They Looks say like great it. science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Fair enough. Man, this is such an interesting venture into the roots of Aperture. Alright, so it looks like we cleared that area, and it's a set of puzzles that involved quite a bit of zooming. Big spatial thinking. Really just identifying, you know, the, the relationships between the different portalable, that's definitely not a word, but it will be for my playthrough, uh, surfaces. That was bright. Right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Yikes. But informative. Or so I'm told. <laughs> but you gotta blind your, your test subjects, Mr. Mr. Johnson. Anyways, it looks like we're in the old Aperture Sciences testing facility. And so we were going through GLaDOS's test and everything, and now we have all of these potential trials ahead of us, and we're probably going to learn some new mechanics involving some new Aperture Science materials. But of course, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's really cool to get a completely different environment to see the turn, you know, the twist, uh, the big plot twist of Wheatley, you know, becoming the villain, and GLaDOS becoming a potato, and our ally in a, in a, in a shocking turn of events. But yeah, I'm really excited to see where things go. And I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.